It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. This episode is brought to you by Simply by Frito-Lay. These days, you have a lot going on. But now, thanks to Simply by Frito-Lay, you have one less thing to worry about. So kick back and enjoy your favorite Frito-Lay snacks with ingredients to feel good about, like Simply Blue Corn Tostitos, Sea Salted Ruffles, and even White Cheddar Cheetos Puffs, all made with no artificial colors or flavors. Enjoy what you love and look for Simply Brand snacks online or at a store near you. You are Locked On Buckeyes, your daily podcast on the Ohio State Buckeyes. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team, every day. What's up, Buckeye fans? Welcome back to another episode of Locked On Buckeye for the Locked On Podcast Network. I'm your host, Jay Stevens, also the host of the Jay Stevens Podcast. It is Friday, June 18th in the year 2021. And no matter if you're listening to the audio version of the podcast or if you're watching us on YouTube.com, I want to make sure to thank you for, for making Locked On Buckeyes a part of of your day. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at jsteven07. You can also follow the podcast on Twitter as well at Locked on Buckeye. Line up for today in segment two, we finish our Big Things Coming series. Today, it's once again a defensive lineman. Segment three, there were three players, three Buckeyes named to the Walter Camp preseason All-American team. Who are they? We'll talk about that towards the end of the show. But before we get to any of that, I want to make sure to remind you to check out the Locked On Big Ten podcast because there's simply no better place to get all the news on the Big Ten Conference Dan with Big Ten Ben Stevens and the Locked On Big Ten podcast. Follow the Locked On Big Ten podcast on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your fine podcast. It's July. No, excuse me, June. I just said June like about a minute ago. It is June, June 18th, and normally this time of year, it's a slow period in college football. College athletics, very, very slow, unless you're unless you're a spring sport where you have the college World Series, the college softball World Series just ended. You have the NCAA track and field outdoor championships that just took place in Eugene, Oregon. You have some people that are preparing track athletes for, swimming athletes for the upcoming Olympic trials. But normally right now, it's a slow period. Awards, they were given out a while ago. But for most sports, you're still going to get some awards that come out. But for most things, the awards, they've already been handed out. But then there are more. Just a couple more to hand out, possibly three, to individuals that are at Ohio State. The male and female Athletes of the Year awards go to Justin Fields, quarterback, at Ohio State, and then and then Miss Adelaide Aquila, shot putter at Ohio State as well. Justin Fields kind of goes without saying, self-explanatory. He he's he's one of a kind. Number eleven overall draft pick in the most recent NFL draft. A guy that when he came into Ohio State, he had to work to get to where he currently is. He was not the quarterback his first year, first game that he was when he first arrived there on campus. There was a lot of growth. There was a lot of maturing. There was a lot of listening. There was a lot of soaking in and being a sponge when Ryan Day was throwing out and giving out information to Justin Fields. And we've been able to witness and see the growth, the maturation process of Justin Fields, see how he performed on the field, how he was in the offseason, how he was in press conferences, how he handled himself when it seemed like nobody in the Big Ten wanted to play. Justin Fields is going around to the Good Morning Show and all these different shows, TV shows, radio shows, basically saying, we want to play we can play. And I do think that it was very, very instrumental. I, we do believe, many of us believe, that Justin Fields in the push that not only he got from the Ohio State Buckeyes, but also, but also the Nebraska Cornhuskers as well that helped that season, this past season, really go forward. And we got to see a season that we will all remember for a very long time. Yes, there were ups. There were also downs. But Justin Fields will ultimately go down as an all-time great Buckeye quarterback. He completed a single season school record, 70.2% of his 225 passes for 2,100 yards, 22 touchdowns, six INTs. He also had 383 yards on the ground. 
in five scores on the ground as well. His 22 for 28 performance against Clemson when he threw six touch- touchdown passes in the college football playoff semifinal is one of the best performances, literally, by any quarterback that has ever played at Ohio State. Miss Aquila, Miss Adelaide Aquila, who's now in Eugene, Oregon, like I mentioned, preparing for the Olympic trials. She won the shot put national championship at the indoor championships with a school record of 18.12. Now, this was a few months ago, early earlier this year, 18 po- 18.12 meters. That is 59 feet, 59 feet, 5.386 inches. I had to look that up and convert that because I don't know the meters in the feet. She also came in first in the shot put during the NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships with a throw of 18.98 meters. Once again, conversion, 62 feet, 3.2 inches. One more thing. that she's, she's, she's amazing. At both the indoor and outdoor Big Ten Championships, Aquila won the conference title for shot put. She both earned indoor and outdoor field athlete of the year honors. Her throw of 19.12 meters at the outdoor Big Ten Championship broke the prior conference school and also her personal records. Conversion, 62 feet, 8.756 inches. That's amazing. That's very, very far. If you want to go out and look at what it is that is when you're walking it out there, say you're trying to get a tape measure, have a point A, figure out what point B is, you'll realize, you'll look out there and say, how in the world did this young lady just do that? Practice, practice. You got to have a lot of strength in that, but it does take a lot of practice to do something like that. I used to do shot, I used to throw shot put in high school. I wasn't that hot. Nowhere close. My sophomore year was the last year that I threw the shot put. There were two gentlemen that were on the shot put and discus throwing team that made it to the state championship. That's around where high school athletes are. I was I was looking and I was watching. I actually watched a little bit of the track and field NCAA track and field outdoor championships over there in Eugene, Oregon. And a lot of the women are doing what high school men are doing. Now in high school, that's amazing. But these are top tier, top top top. They're they're better than high school men. Don't get me wrong, they're better than them. But these are the numbers that the young high school men are striving to get, and they, and they can't get can't get it. It's it's just it's just insane how how amazing these athletes are. Justin Fields, Miss Aquila, they both have the opportunity to win the Big Ten Athlete of the Year honor and award, which will be announced on July 13th. Let's step away very quickly. When we come back, we continue our Big Things Coming series. This time, we are talking about a defensive lineman. Who is it? Stick around to find out. But first, check this out. RockAuto.com is a family business serving auto parts customers online for 20 years. Go to RockAuto.com to shop for auto and body parts from hundreds of manufacturers. They have everything from engine control modules and brake parts to tail lamps, motor oil, and even new carpet. Whether it's for your classic or daily driver, get everything you need in a few easy clicks delivered directly to your door. The rockauto.com catalog is unique and remarkably easy to navigate. Quickly see all the parts available for your vehicle and choose brands, specifications, and even prices you prefer. Best of all, prices at rockauto.com are always reliably low and the same for professionals and do it yourself first. Go to rockauto.com right now and see all the parts available for your car or truck right locked on in their How Did You Hear About Us box so they know we sent you amazing selection. Reliably low prices, all the parts your car will ever need. Rockauto.com. What's up, everybody? David Harrison here of the Locked On Washington Football Team podcast. I actually just retired from the Army, and while that was a very exciting moment in my life, it also meant uprooting my family one last time. And not only that, but we moved in the midst of COVID, so finding the place that we really wanted to live wasn't as easy as it usually would have been, so we actually have moved a second time. And of course, every time we've had to wonder, is all of our stuff going to fit with our new house? Did you know that people who live in cities move six to eight times before they even hit their early 30s? That's why you've got to check out 
out Feather. Feather is a furniture rental company designed for people who want to feel at home no matter how often they move. Furnishing one bedroom can cost upwards of $6,000, but with Feather, you can furnish a bedroom with high quality, beautifully designed furniture for the cost of your monthly utility bill. Their delivery team brings furniture directly to your home in as little as seven days. They handle all the heavy lifting so you can go from an empty apartment to a fully furnished home without lifting a finger or assembling anything. And it's not just furniture, they have rugs, lamps, wall art, and more. What if you move to a new place with a different layout? No problem. You can easily get furniture that works for any space. Plus, by renting from Feather, you're choosing a sustainable alternative to fast furniture that won't end up in landfills. I remember vividly having to take time off of work or away from family events or social events that I wanted to attend just to wait for several furniture deliveries coming at different times throughout the week, but you don't have to go through that anymore. Try a new way to furnish your home right now. Feather has an exclusive offer just for Locked On listeners. If you go to livefeather.com right now and use the promo code Locked On, you'll receive $300 off your first month. Again, that's livefeather.com and use our promo code Locked On for $300 off your first month. If this is your first time listening to Locked on Buckeyes, I want to say welcome or watching for that matter. I want to say welcome or if it's your first time in a long time checking out the podcast, I want to say welcome back. Locked on Buckeyes is a place to be for you and any of your friends and maybe some of your people you don't like as well, but you know they love Ohio State. The place to be to stay up to date on the Ohio State football and basketball teams and occasional other sports as well. You can catch us on the Odyssey app. Apple Podcast, the iHeartRadio app, or numerous other places you get your fine podcast, or you can watch us, youtube.com slash locked on Buckeyes, or just open up the app, hit that search engine bar, type in locked in Buckeyes, you'll be navigated and directed to this podcast. Hit that subscribe button on the YouTube, on your favorite podcast listening app, so you don't miss a beat. Remember, locked on Buckeyes until further notice comes at you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Big things coming. I don't remember all of the athletes that we talked about in this, what, three-week, four-week different little ordeal that we had. We did some during before we went to a couple days a week. Now that we're doing uh, of th- I mean, before we went to three days a week, now that we're at three days a week, we're, we're hitting just a couple 2D linemen, two O-linemen last week. I think last year was Mumford and Petit Freyer, three O-linemen actually, Mumford and Petit Freyer, and then um, uh, Paris Johnson Jr. was last week. I remember hitting Jackson Smith and Jigba. I remember hitting Josh Proctor. Uh, There's so many other athletes that we hit on. Jeremy Rucker was one of them. But last but not least, defensive lineman-wise, not Haskell Garrett. Hit on Teron Vincent a couple days ago. Not Zach Harrison. And remember, like I mentioned earlier, the this little series here, this the people that are mentioned, they would have had to have played snaps, numerous snaps at Ohio State. Jack Sawyer, not in the running. Today, it's all about Tyreek Smith, an individual that was really, really missed at the end of the season, national championship game, when he tested positive for the COVID and he was unable to play. Tyreek Smith, I remember back in January when the announcement came out that he was going to be staying at Ohio State. He would not be, he would not be going anywhere. Would not go to the NFL draft like he could have gone at the end of last season. After a season like he had last year, he had every right. It was it would have made sense for him to leave. If you were a person that follows the stats, you say, Jay, I'm all about the numbers. I'm all about the simple numbers. I don't care about the the deep dive into the analytics. All I care about are these simple numbers. Well, Tyreek Smith. 6'4", coolandersportsreference.com, 267. I believe Ohio State had him listed at 260, but 6'4", 267. For his career, this is why the numbers don't tell the impact of a defensive lineman. He does play defensive end. He has 29 tackles for his career at Ohio State, six tackles for loss, four sacks. Three pass deflection, pass breakups. Two of them came in a sophomore campaign during 2019. One of them came during last year's season, his junior year, which was a shortened season. Last year, Tyreek Smith had eight tackles, only played in five games, but played had eight tackles, one TFL, one sack, and then one pass breakup. To you, someone out there that just, just say, man, I look at the numbers, that tells me everything about the story. That'll really shake up to nobody and say, that man should be somebody highlighted right here and say, Big things coming. Well, if you go back to the offense, you talk about number one athlete that I mentioned, Jeremy Rucker's production doesn't really scream, ooh, I know what he's going to do in the fall. The offense will have to change for him to do that, but I, I know what he'll do. Jackson Smith and Jigba. How many catches did he have last year? 
Now you're getting kind of the gist about the way this whole series has gone, and now it's almost over. Tyreek Smith, his get-off is amazing. If you think about a defensive end, no matter if it's the Big Ten, Pac-12, ACC, SEC, Big 12, Notre Dame, no matter where you are, no matter if you're playing at Army and you're playing a different defensive front, doesn't matter where you are. Getting a good, having a, a phenomenal get off for a wide receiver all the way down to the center from a cornerback that has to play bump, bump and run all game to the nose tackle, one technique shading the center or a zero. You need to have a phenomenal get off. A phenomenal first step, hand placement, foot placement, shoulder pad level. You need not helmets, not too much. Helmet is your, your head's up, not down, not just to alleviate and not to get injured, but also to make sure you're able to use your eyeballs to look and read. Are you reading the tackle? What part of the tackle are you reading? Are you looking in the backfield? Where's the running back going? Quarterback, oh, he's eyeing me. He's rolling my side. I have to make sure that I keep contained no matter what. Tyreek Smith and his get off, first step off the line, first two steps off the line, his, foot, his hand placement, that's huge. That is key. Just like you mentioned with Teron Vincent the other day, when Teron Vincent, his first step, when he's able to look and just first step, his eyes are wherever he's on, right in front of him, primarily going to be the center. If he's having his eyes on that center, if the, if the center shoots his his hands one day, Tyreek Smith is so quick with the hands, quick twitch with the hands, that he's able to counter, have a move to go about that, and disrupt the play. The one thing that derailed Tyreek Smith, a little bit of injury history, a little um, uh, unfamiliar, unfamiliar. His injury history really derailed him from having a having a career that had that saw him on the field a whole lot more. Same thing with Tyreek Smith. If you were to go back, I went out the screen. But last year played five games. I believe he played eight games the year before. Freshman year played in a few games. Was in rotation. But injuries really have really been a, 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 a harsh. Har- they've had their effect. There you go. They've had a drastic negative effect with not just Tyreek Smith. Or Teron Vincent, but numerous Buckeyes while at Ohio State. But the other reason why I want to highlight Tyreek Smith for what he can do in the fall is because if you look at the current depth chart, now this is with me projecting how things are going to go. These are not set in stone just yet. But if things are planning to go this route, Tyreek Smith at one defensive end, nose tackle Teron Vincent, Haskell Garrett D, uh, D tackle, three technique, shading the guard, Zach Harrison, the other defensive end. Two guys are automatically going to get a lot of attention based off of name and what they have done. Haskell Garrett, Zach Harris is going to get a potential, going to get a lot of attention because when he's not hurt, he really can be a big problem for Ohio State for the opponent. But he's been hurt a lot, and really, it's really derailed him from being the player that he can be. But Haskell Garrett is going to clog up that middle. I believe Teron Vincent and Haskell Garrett, it'll be very, very similar to having the effect that Ohio State saw last year with Tommy Togai playing the nose and Garrett playing the three technique of the defensive tackle. But you also have Tyler Friday and Javante Jean-Baptiste. If Noel Potter and Jack Sawyer happen to be in rotation, I know that they're very talented, but if all six of those guys are in rotation, that's going to really, 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 really help the health and the freshness. That's that's a word I haven't used in a while. The freshness of Tyreek Smith, because we all know the Rushman package that Ohio State wants to utilize. Will you see Sawyer and Potter in there and take over the role of um, – uh, Javante John Baptiste or Tyler Friday. What the, what is that going to be? Will we see a a combination of different um front defensive fronts that are going to be out there? Tyreek Smith last year, he was phenomenal in the run game, and the numbers don't really show the impact that he had, but in the run game where he would just really what he would his good off his hands, his leverage, setting the edge, it really gave teams problems. Gave a lot of teams problems because they didn't know how to combat what Tyreek Smith threw at them. Also, another thing, when you have a guy like Tyreek Smith that's phenomenal with his hands, what else are you going to have? You're going to have an individual that can hold off the tackle or if it's a tight end, hold off the tight end, bump the tight end for getting off on into his route and mess up the timing or the tackle, make sure he doesn't get to the second level to block a linebacker. That's very key as well. A lot of what Tyreek Smith does does not show up in the stat book or in the stat sheet, but it does help his other teammates do their job and ultimately derails the other offense from moving the ball.
We're done with that series. Got some more phenomenal things coming up next week, week after, week after. But for right now, we got one more segment left. Three Buckeyes are named to the Walker Camp preseason All-American team. Who are they? Stick around to find out. But first, check this out. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your sports action. Baseball season is in full swing, and you can track all the action and bet online. Get all the latest news, odds, and info for all your sporting needs, including MLB, NBA, NHL, and all your UFC slash MMA action. Before the next pitch, head over to betonline.ag on your laptop or mobile device and check out all the great sporting news, sign-up bonuses, and even contest information. Don't sit on the sidelines anymore as this is your chance to get into the game as he's prep for their runs to the playoffs. Head to betonline.ag on your laptop or mobile device to sign up today. And when you do, make sure you use promo code Locked On. L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online, your online sports book experts. This episode is brought to you by HP Instant Ink. No one is reading your mind, but HP Instant Ink knows when your printer is running low and sends you new cartridges. So you never have to think about ink. Save up to 50%. You'll pay less than $5 a month for ink and never run out again. Find out if your printer is eligible and enroll today at hpinstantink.com. Conditions apply. For details, visit hp.com slash instant ink Spotify. And as we wrap up this final episode of the week here on Locked on Buckeyes, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team, every single day. Day three Buckeyes. I know it's June. I'm a little early, a little surprised that this preseason All-American team is already listed. But I recently went out and bought one preview magazine from Athlon Sports, the Phil Still Phil, Phil Steele um, College Football Preseason Magazine will be out very, very shortly, possibly by this weekend. So there's a lot of preseason stuff going on right now. And when I saw the Walter Camp Foundation All-American team, for the preseason of the 2021 season, you know your boy had to check it out and really look and see how many Buckeyes are on the list and what Buckeyes are on the list as well. There are three. There are two on offense, one on defense. They are all on the first team. Wide receiver Chris Olave is on the first team offensive team for the 2021 Walter Camp preseason, all, preseason All-American team. Thayer Mumford. One of the off, one of the off of the linemen that is awarded one of five, and then also on defense, Haskell Garrett is the other one. There is no Buckeye at all, and I double, triple, quadruple checked. No Buckeye at all on the second offensive or defensive teams. There is no third team. I don't even see any so no punter, no kicker on any of the teams. No kick returner, no punt returner either. This is big. I know that there's some weight that can be put to this, but this is also kind of expected. When you think about Justin Ross and Chris Olave being on the first team preseason All-American team, Justin Ross on Clemson, I don't even think Justin Ross played very much last year. I think he was hurt all season. So Chris Olave, that makes a lot of sense for him to be up there. There, Mumford. He is up there with a cup with uh, an Alabama Crimson, an Alabama offensive lineman, an offensive lineman from Texas AM and then Iowa. Factories, straight factories for the offensive line men that they put into the NFL draft. So that's another one that doesn't surprise me either. Haskell Garrett, from the season that he had last year, I do think he's going to get a lot more attention. And I think that with him being at the defensive tackle position, you may find his name on more of the preseason All-American teams. But this is huge. A few of the others, before we wrap up today's show, I want to highlight a couple athletes that are on the first team of this preseason All-American team that Ohio State will play this year. Ohio State opens up their season with Minnesota on September 2nd, I believe. That is a road game in Minneapolis. And Muhammad Ibrahim, their running back. I have heard a lot, a lot, a lot about this young man in the offseason listening to a few podcasts or one podcast that I listen to very, very frequently. And 
Muhammad Ibrahim is one individual that is right there in all of the draft conversations. They do, Ohio State does open up their season. Cave on Thibodeau. He is on the first team defense against Oregon. I'm going to keep scrolling down to see who else I find here. Northwestern, Brandon Joseph. I don't, defensive back. I don't think Ohio State plays Northwestern in the regular season, but that could be an opponent that they do match up with in the Big Ten Championship. There are not many Big Ten players here on this list. I believe Brandon Joseph is on. Brandon Joseph is on the first team. On the second team, I know there's a couple, there's at least one Indiana Hoosier on there. It's Micah McFadden, the linebacker, phenomenal linebacker that Ohio State will play. I think they play Indiana the week coming after the bye week. This is a this is great news. Alave, Garrett, and Munford. These are individuals. challenge you go out and search and look and see what the other draft pro draft analysts are saying about three these three individuals there's a good chance that all three of them will be very very high on the list when talking about their positions we're done we're over i hope there are no uh technical difficulties today i know it's a possibility with the internet and the way things are going on right now but wrapping up the show looking to get this thing going once again next week as always you can follow me on Twitter at jsteven07. I want to thank you once again for the downloads. The downloads keep going up. I know it's just a few days a week, but the downloads continue to go up. And I want to say thank you. Fill up the five-star review section on, twi on Twitter, on Apple Podcasts. You like what you hear. You come back consistently. Fill the review section on Apple Podcasts with five-star reviews. We will read some of those here on the show. If you guys so much go out and take some time to do that very thing, you can send all of your emails to jstevens317 at gmail.com. Before we get out of here, before we start looking into next week, the weekend, whatever it may be, I want to remind you to make sure you check out the Locked On Today podcast because it is a place to get all the sports news you need in under 20 minutes with the Locked On Today podcast. Host Peter Bukowski up dates you on the latest news in every major sport with the help of our local experts. Follow the Locked On Today podcast on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your fine podcasts.